Yeah, hi, Akalpa and Anamika. I have a question. Like, uh, I asked this question at the very beginning of the call, uh, but I think we were just starting up. So I'm going to ask this now. Uh, like, basically, I do not have any boundaries as such. And what I think is, uh, I mean, this is in my head that having a boundary is something which is not good. It is a negative trait. And I do not like people having boundaries. So that is something what I came up or I grew up with. Ki, uh, let's say my mom, mom has told me like X, Y, Z things and I should be following that. So I shouldn't be questioning. Um, so I grew up in that mindset. So I do not have any kind of boundaries. I do not back answer. I listen to people and all those things. And I have seen at one point of time where, you know, uh, like I was vulnerable. And I have shared a few things to certain friends of mine or to, you know, like some people whom I found trustworthy. I shared a few things, but I I was like, uh, whatever may be the reason, like let's say the person is angry or something, that person has came back with to me with those things that I have shared and, you know, like uh, kind of hurt me with those things, like, I was vulnerable, I shared something, and when that person was angry, uh, it was like turned back onto me, and I felt hurt. So I do not know how do I create boundaries, are they good, or what are the right set of boundaries one should have, and uh, like what is it in each relationship, like with, the, with your partner, how it needs to be with your friend, what it needs to be. I, I really do not know much. So if you can just share something on this, uh, I would like to get an opinion or understand the thing. Right. right. OK. Um, so you started the. Uh, and yeah, please, please go. Mm -hmm. You started by saying that you you don't consider that boundaries are good is that correct is that what you said yeah yeah right like that's what i was okay. i grew up with i do not know the exact definition and i feel no, like okay. why it's okay Chalo, yeah. go chhod do. Go chhod do. you grew up with whatever and all that so uh, just let's look at it more simply that okay. um, so let's say you believe boundaries are not good Let's say let's say you grew up with that and you, you bought that. So now let's go with that. Are you happy with that belief? Are you happy to follow it? Does that I work for you? I just find myself being getting hurt again and again. Uh, I trust people and then they break my trust. I get cheated on. I get uh, played with my emotions and all those things. So I do not like like it. Uh, just all other things I'm okay with and I'm good with, but certain things where, you know, I'm finding myself stuck again and again. People are cheating me, hurting me, leaving me, treating me badly. These are the things I'm not uh, liking. But rest, otherwise, I think uh, the way I am uh, dealing with life, I think I'm very happy and content with other things, except for these few things that I mentioned. Huh. So let's talk about these few things only that you mentioned them. Let's leave the rest. So whatever is good is good. Then let's just leave it. So this is focus. Okay. Karte, na? Uh -huh. hmm. huh. So my question is, are you happy with this belief? Ki, there's no need to set boundaries. Uh, no, I think I should be having boundaries for certain things uh, where the things that I hmm. mentioned specifically. Take it. So now you understand this. So now what? tell me what is the relevance of reminding yourself that this is what I have learned, this is what I have grown up with and all that. What is the relevance? What is the question? You are saying that you need to set boundaries. You, you fully understand there is a need to set boundaries. Yes. Okay. But then at the same time, you also say, Ki, but I have grown up in this environment where this is that and I have not set boundaries or whatever. You, you shared all that. So, yeah. relevance? Kya? Kya uh, it is irrelevant. Aapko itna to samaj, haan, aapko itna to samaj mein aata hai na, ki karna hai. 
correct i think uh, to some extent i should be applying and not to the other areas of life correct so um so let's say even if your mother has taught you this or your father has taught you that and all that unke liye wo work kiya hoga hmm aapke liye to nahi kar raha hai na right right aur aapko is cheez ki clarity hai na ki nahi kar raha correct तो क्या फर्क पड़ता है कि बाकी लोग क्या सोचते क्या उससे क्या फर्क पड़ता है कि योर योर मदर थिंक्स दिस वे और योर फादर थिंक्स दिस वे योर ग्रैंड फादर थिंक्स दिस वे क्या फर्क पड़ता है आई थिंक इट तो आपको ही जीनियर है आपको हम्म आई थिंक इट इज लाइक कि मेरे पे ये आएगा कि अगर मैंने ऐसे कोई बाउंड्री सेट की लोगों को नो बोला किसी का कुछ फॉलो नहीं किया तो देन आई एम नॉट अ गुड पर्सन फोकस करो ना सो इफ द क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर की आई Have to do it. इसमें तो कोई um, कुछ क्वेश्चन ही नहीं है कि I uh, my life can't be I can't live like this I can't have a boundaryless life. It doesn't work for me. You are clear about it. Okay. Okay. I was so thinking now, having having boundaries is really not good. Even now I am just doubting it whether it's a good thing or not. हाँ तो मैं मैंने आपसे यही तो क्वेश्चन पूछा तो मान लो हम उस बिलीफ से चलते कि हैविंग बाउंड्रीज इज नॉट गुड तो मैंने तो उसी क्वेश्चन से स्टार्ट किया था ना तो आई आस्ट यू कि आर यू हैप्पी विद दैट बिलीफ देन ओके नो आई एम नॉट सो फिर 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 बैक एंड फोर्थ क्यों कर रहे हो सो सो स्टिक रहा ना अपने आंसर पे तो हो गया ना क्वेश्चन पूछ लिया आंसर आ गया अभी hmm. फिर से वापस क्यों ओके एट दिस पॉइंट वन मोर थिंग आई वांटेड टू आस्क फ्रॉम रूपाली दैट सी इन द बिगिनिंग द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट इज इज दैट बाउंड्रीज आर नॉट वॉल्स ठीक है दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग अभी इन योर हेड देयर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ बाउंड्री एंड अ वॉल यस यस एग्जैक्टली I hmm. think the people who have boundaries have treated me very badly, and I do not like it. So I am hating this boundary thing. Hmm. Hmm. Then the people who were trying to have boundaries with you and everything, ah, uh, they were hmm. not setting boundaries or doing ah uh, or uh, this thing, because the way you set boundaries, so basically it's a win-win. Hmm. Okay. Huh. there will be people who are habitual to you not having boundaries which who will of course have problem in the beginning if you set boundaries because they are habitual to you not having them so they are used to mm-hmm. getting their way across you right so it's yeah. boundaries in healthy relationships in relationships where we love people it's a um how should i say it's a healthier thing it is something which is required why so so tell me do you want in uh, in your uh, let's suppose in romantic relationship do you want your partner to know who you are yes do you want your partner to love and respect you yes right uh, do you love uh, would uh, uh, would you want your partner to uh, respect your space your sovereignty your individuality your choices yes then that is what boundaries are for so that you can go in front of the other person and you can share with them who you are what what is it that you want in the relationship because just imagine uh, you have two males in front of you standing in front of mm-hmm. you right uh, there is one person who has so much clarity what they want who very clearly come and communicate to you who who respect themselves who love themselves who um who respect you also but that doesn't mean that they will sabotage themselves so they love themselves okay. they love you and there is another guy standing in front of you who is like you know 
कोई उसका कुछ है ही नहीं क्या चाहिए कुछ पता ही नहीं है क्या है अरे कुछ भी कर लो मेरे साथ आउट ऑफ दीज टू पीपल हुम आर यू गोइंग टू रिस्पेक्ट मोर दिस द फर्स्ट वन द फर्स्ट वन हु नोज एवरीथिंग अबाउट हिमसेल्फ एंड येट ही इज रिस्पेक्टिंग यू एंड योर चॉइसेस एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली सो नाउ दीज टू थिंग्स आर डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल व्हाट बाउंड्रीज मींस इट इज इट इज telling the other person how they can treat you right they also mean how you treat yourself so the others are only going to treat you the way you treat yourself so when you don't have boundaries what you are telling other people i treat myself you know very badly but i want you to love me okay. so main to apne aap se pyar nahi karti hu but main chahti hu ki tum kar lo mujhse pyar okay so what ends up happening is we end up and and who are these kind of people who are going to like this who are who are these people who are uh, going to um, uh, get attracted to you when you don't have boundaries are people who can actually benefit from it who can take you for granted who can get their way who can manipulate you who can take advantage of you not having boundaries because people who who have boundaries who are already in their personal power they are not going mm-hmm. to get attracted to a person who doesn't have boundaries they are not going okay. to get attracted to a person who is living on a shaky ground they also want somebody who comes with a strong foundation kyunki relationship mein bhi support each other aur hum kisi aur ko tabhi support kar sakte hain jab hum khud apne aap mein you know we feel strong we feel powerful empowered mm-hmm. right so now you want to set boundaries or not yeah yes right theek hai yeah yeah over, over to you karma this is what i wanted to ask her this was really uh, huh. very very much positive and inspiring that yeah i need to set boundaries Yeah. So, अभी ये क्लियर है ना कि यू नीड टू सेट बाउंड्रीज या अभी भी इस क्वेश्चन में बैक एंड फोर्थ तो नहीं है ना कि करना चाहिए या नहीं करना चाहिए अभी क्लैरिटी है ना कि करना तो है करेक्ट अभी है क्लियर अब अब नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आ जाता है कि करना क्या है कैसे करना दैट्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन करेक्ट सो फॉर दैट आई थिंक यू आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग द अनस्टक वर्कशॉप एंड अदर वर्कशॉप्स विद अस करेक्ट यस हां तो बस just just complete the process okay and just a follow up question like uh, the question that i was asking ke uh, you have you have been vulnerable you have shared certain things and you are trusted by other person and you know again and again you have seen the repeating pattern where you are bow- like although i did not set this boundary as such but we did have a conversation that we will not take this topic because it hurts me but that was taken again and again so what do i do with the people who keep on repeating these things uh for the time being i am saying ki don't worry about doing anything just complete the process that you are currently doing okay okay so it's important for you to first change your state before you put any solution for other people ओके सो वर्क ऑन चेंजिंग योर स्टेट फर्स्ट इस स्टेट से कोई भी सॉल्यूशन अप्लाई करोगे इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी वेरी फ्रूटफुल राइट ओके सो जस्ट कंप्लीट द प्रोसेस वर्क ऑन योरसेल्फ कंप्लीट द प्रोसेस कम इन अ मोर एंपावर्ड स्टेट फर्स्ट एंड वंस यू आर इन दैट एंपावर्ड स्टेट यू कैन यू कैन पुट बेटर सॉल्यूशंस इन प्लेस यू विल यू विल बी एबल टू डू इट मोर कंपैशनेट With okay. assertion and with uh, with compassion, जहाँ आपको ये भी मालूम है कि ये ये करना है, but इसको compassionately करना है in the sense that you don't want to hurt the feelings of other people. You're more careful and all that, but at the same time, mm-hmm. not at the cost of your own self-respect and other things. So पहले yeah, state बनाने की जरूरत. I think I am extreme. E- either I am too submissive and too naive, exactly. and you know, too Haan. soft, or or I will go directly to the end that leave it. Haan. I don't want it. Just. Ha ha. वो story याद है जो I told you the story about the uh, beggar, uh, the raja or beggar वाली story याद है जो मैंने बताई थी या भूल गए या नहीं बताई थी. Ha. Ha. Can you just give hmm. a gist of it? So there is this uh, this. 
there is a, a a monk who is known for his calmness and his patience and tolerance is very very calm and patient he was well known to ek raja hota hai jo that raja he has lot of anger issues this and that to to us wo sunta hai is monk ke bare mein to uske paas jata hai aur bolta hai ki i want you to teach me how to be more calm and all that so because i've heard that you are you are all that so so he says theek hai i'll come to your place tomorrow and uh, we'll talk so that wo jo raja hota hai wo bahut khush ho jata hai so he uh, gets lot of dishes cooked for him and all that so when this monk comes to his place he brings a bowl aur us bowl mein sab kankad patthar gobar mitti aise pada hota hai so when when they are about to serve uh, food he पुट्स दैट बाउल इन फ्रंट तो राजा बोलता है लेकिन ये तो गंदा है इसमें तो हम ये खाना डालेंगे तो सब गंदा हो जाएगा तो तो फिर क्या करना चाहिए फूड इन द क्लीन बाउल सो सो बोलता है अच्छा ठीक है तो क्लीन कर देते हैं उसमें खाना डाल देते हैं वो खाना खा लेता है और चला चलने लगता है तो राजा बोलता है लेकिन आप तो मुझे बताने आए थे कि क्या करना है आपने तो बताया नहीं So he said, "No, I have already told you. I have already explained." So that's the thing. When you are talking about that, I am in that submissive behavior and all that. So what do I do? First, get rid of the submissive behavior. पहले बाउल तो clean करो. आप आप और मांग रहे हो कि उसमें अच्छा पेट कैसे करूं? पर जो गंदा पड़ा पहले उसको clean तो करो. उसमें हम जो भी डालेंगे वो mix हो जाने वाला है उसमें contaminate हो जाने वाला है. Hmm. Right. Right. so this is why i'm saying don't worry about anything just go through the process clean clean your bowl first then you will be able to do it from a more empowered state abhi to jo kuch bhi hum dalenge aap jo kuch bhi karoge wo isi state se hi karne wale ho aapko kuch main aapko uh, empowered wali techniques bhi dunga tabhi bhi aap karoge to submissive state se usko exactly yeah because that's where you are right now yes sir yeah. so let 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 yourself go through the process clean your bowl first and then then you will be able to handle sure. this situation okay thank you so much and i'm gonna come no problem thanks thanks you buddy uh trisha your hand is up you want to say something yes <laughs> and um I, I thought of this when Anamika was saying that boundaries are not walls, right? And it just occurred to me that boundaries are actually like having a door in your house. Like I might keep the door open because I want air and I want circulation, but that's not an invitation for anybody to just walk into my house, right? Whoever it is has to stop at the door, has to ring the doorbell or knock and ask permission to come in, and then when it's night and i'm going to sleep i'm going to go close the door lock it and make sure that you know i am safe so obviously boundaries are not walls they are much more permeable but it it works both way right jo boundary ke us taraf hai that person also re- needs to recognize ki permissions required and the person whose house it is who has to lock the door also has to know when to open the door when to lock it and you know when to just keep it ajar i don't know if that makes sense but that's what i was thinking about yeah yeah that's that's a very beautiful analogy trisha that's true that's true that's how it is yeah yeah thank you and, thank and you so much yeah and people who you know a lot of people including me i think earlier even i had issues with boundaries so i think a lot of people saying this from personal experience who don't understand boundaries or whose boundaries are not very clear or strong what they don't realize it is ki of course the most you know apparent way of your boundary getting violated is that you will end up getting used or you will end up getting hurt but what's harder to recognize is that when you don't have clear boundaries you are also you know hurting other people 
That's and yourself. Good. I think and even yourself. Like, I don't think a, a, not having boundaries is never a solution anyway. Exactly. Yeah. And that's that's the harder bit to recognize, you know, because जब कोई आपको use करता है या कोई आपको yeah. बिल्कुल. That's the question I asked Rupali first thing. That not having boundaries, are you happy with it? Because if she would have said yes, I am happy with it, then there is no problem. Exactly. <laughs> but I have rarely heard anybody saying I am happy with it. So I knew she would say that, but still, that question has to be asked. Hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I think I just have like one follow-up question on this, uh, because about the boundaries thing. Uh, like there were relations uh, wherein like i was very open and people have uh, been using my time using this using that using my resources my whatever like uh, they are coming up to me and then i i did not have boundaries at that time and then when i approach these people back when i need help or i need something so that time then how can i know whether there is a boundary or not for the other person right because it was i thought that a particular relation it is a mutual agreement between the two people that if i am being there for you for all the while hmm. then hmm. when i need yeah. you need to be there so how will i know ah. the other person has boundaries and exactly. and then obviously i and you will hurt, right you will get hurt because ha ah, bilkul you will hurt get hurt you will feel ki मेरा एडवांटेज ले लिया और जब उनका काम था तो उन्होंने मैंने तो कर दिया मेरे को जरूरत है तो वो नहीं करें एग्जैक्टली व्हाई बिकॉज यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ बाउंड्रीज एंड दैट्स व्हाई व्हेन समबडी एल्स डज इट यू फील हर्ट कि मैं तो नहीं कर रही हूँ वो क्यों कर रहे सो दिस इज दिस इज वॉट वी मीन बाय एन एम्पावर्ड स्टेट वेन यू यू डू इट एंड यू ऑल्सो रिकोगनाइज दैट अदर इज अदर्स आर डूइंग इट एंड यू feel happy for them also ki you know you understand ki iski zarurat hai aur dusra koi kar raha hai to aapko usse khushi hi hoti hai okay so i need to change my state basically kyunki jab tak aap apni state change nahi karoge jab tak aapko wo cheez ka swad khud nahi chakhoge aapko samajh nahi aayega ki baki log kyon kha rahe hai is cheez ko hmm 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 Right. So right. you are judging some some dish which you have never tasted, and then if other right. people are eating it, you are you are feeling why 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 just fisha was saying something let her complete and then we'll come to you fisha one hmm. yeah okay no yeah i can my question aisa bhi to ho sakta hai na ki the um, boundaries look different for different people right like Hogai? again my personal example um my therapist does not like uh, writing long emails so i write yeah. paragraphs and i write essays to him and i'll tell him mera din aisa gaya ye hua wo hua i will write you know i write right so i send him poetry i send him all of this stuff he just replies to it and says acknowledged we will talk about this in the next session to pehle mujhe bahut bura lagta tha ki yaar maine itna likha i have shared so much i've been so vulnerable i've been so open couldn't he take like 20 minutes and write a nice email to me and after having worked with him for a very long time uh we've come to this mutual understanding ki i am allowed to write whatever the if i want to write now, now my boundary is that i will not send him fluff main din nahi kharab karna chahti main time nahi kharab karna chahti uske liye so i will not send him stupid shit right just because i want to write an email i only send something when it's very very important that's my boundary his boundary is that i will read i will reply to it in my own time it can be one day it can be two days it can be a week and i will not reply a very long reply on email i will always say let's meet in person let's talk about it and it's taken us time to obviously you know figure that out like, like now when i'm saying it it sounds like such a 
simple thing but mm. obviously mm. it took me a while to understand that because the person you have that to i go am, through the process to understand exactly this. exactly exactly so mm. to rupali's question earlier boundaries can look very different for different people maybe you are in you know you are somebody who's very kind empathetic or whatever so maybe you have a longer what do you call it bandwidth or something right for certain activities or certain gestures of kindness the other person has a shorter bandwidth but again like you said you have to realize what you are comfortable with in order to understand what the other person should be comfortable with right jab tak apne boundaries nahi set karenge to dusron ke boundaries na samajh mein aayenge na accept honge absolutely yeah i am getting it thanks thanks trisha um yes ishita you wanted to say something yes uh, so just to add on to what rupali mentioned uh, and um, kumari also said in the similar line that i suppose i am very empathetic and i go above and beyond to help someone in need because not because i don't have boundaries but because i am that type of person i can't see someone else in pain but now suppose i am in pain and i i need help and that other person doesn't reciprocate in that way then you know like because when we do something we don't ask will you do the same thing for me in return if i am in that situation no right so how do you handle that emotion you feel like are maine itna kiya usne itna bhi nahi kiya mere liye that type of feeling true it's true exactly right? yeah not because i don't have boundary but i need that help and he's not he or she is not there for me right now so. how do you get over that betrayal wala feeling uh, this is exactly. all this Even is all about i feel the same uh, so this is again same thing that we are talking about it is all interlinked so betrayal wala feeling all these things are you know just different versions of of uh, a root cause and um and once we start to address those root causes then all these bad fruits start to follow to humko ye alag alag lagta hai ki ye alag hai ye alag hai lekin understand that all these bad fruits are connected to the same branch and um, and you cut the branch and all these things fall off so so it's it's all about addressing our own insecurities and our own fears that we operate from and then these things just start to fall off yeah and one more thing i want to uh, talk about that this is you know a classic example of uh, could be a classic example of projection so when we are operating from this space where uh, we are insecure we don't have boundaries so there could be two situations that this person who didn't help us when we needed the help uh, there could be chances that they were busy right or they were not available or they were just um, something happened in their life or whatever x y z uh, but without uh, asking or getting a clarification we just come we just project our own insecurity that this person doesn't want to help me or this person doesn't uh, love me right another kind of projection or we should say falling in the same trap happens in relationships when uh, we um uh, let's suppose i have a friend and she calls me every time she needs me she vents out uh, for 2 hours and then she leaves and she never has time to uh, you know listen to me so another thing happens is that we are not able to uh, see this identify this so the whole point is that when we are operating from this space the kind of filters that we have uh, we are not able to see things as they are because there are also chances that somebody couldn't help us because not because they didn't want to but just because some situation was there and there are also times when um, these things are occurring again and again and again and yet because we are not able to set boundaries we keep falling for it right so it's it's more about our own filters and then again at the end we end up feeling that um, why people take advantage of me why this happens that happens and that we sometimes also apply in cases where people are not taking advantage of us so it Bilkul. comes because this 
वेन वी आर इन अर्ट स्टेट हमको सारे रीजन हर्ट वाले ही समझ में आते हैं कि ऐसे ही होगा सो वंस वी मूव इन टू अ मोर कम्पैशनेट स्पेस देन मे बी वी आर मोर विलिंग टू लुक एट कि उनका कोई रीजन हो सकता है वो ना करने का कुछ भी हो सकता एंड एंड आई एम नॉट से सबका हो सकता है किसी को नहीं ही करना था कोई होंगे उस टाइप के जिनको नहीं ही करना है आपकी हेल्प सो होते हैं वैसे भी लोग होते हैं बट द थिंग इज की वेन वी आर इन अर्ट स्टेट हमें सारे रीजन वही समझ में आते हैं कि एज इफ एवरीबडी इज आउट डेयर टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ आस एंड एंड अब्यूज दिस रिलेशनशिप एंड ऑल दैट सो तो वो ही दिखता है बट पहले उस स्टेट से बाहर आना ताकि जो है वो हम देखने समझने के लायक हो सके उसको हम जैसा देख सके जैसा वो है स्टेट ऑफ कंपैशन टू बी या फॉर एग्जांपल मैं कभी कभी पिंग करती हूँ किसी से कि यू नो बीन लेट्स कैच अप और समथिंग एंड देर आर सम पीपल हु विल लाइक अरे मैं बहुत बिजी हूँ आई कैन नॉट टॉक एंड इट्स नॉट लाइक i just want to uh, stay connected and be in that relationship and uh, but some people they never want to talk so like kya hua kuch kaam hai kya you know i get that response i'm not i know it it hurts me when ki they don't even have 5 minutes to talk to me so yeah is this because i'm hurt already that their behavior is hurting me more it's possible it's possible that you are hurt already it's do But that is it or that maybe... they don't care about me at all then i don't need to invest that much time at all on them again like i said that there could be many reasons and and you will only be able to investigate those reasons when you come in a more compassionate space um aisa bhi ho sakta hai ki they they just they just don't enjoy your company and uh, and if they say that then you will even feel more hurt पर आप एक कंपैशनेट स्टेट में आओगे जहां पे अगर उनका वो आंसर भी आप सुन पाओ विदाउट फीलिंग ऑफेंडेड और एनीथिंग देन देन एटलीस्ट यू कैन सॉल्व समथिंग बट ऑलरेडी हर्ट स्टेट में रहोगे और उसमें किसी ने आपको ये बोल दिया कि uh, मुझे नहीं पसंद है तुम इस तरह की बातें कर रही हो या ये है लाइक like, कुछ लोग ऐसे होते हैं ना जो uh, जिनकी कंप्लेन्ट्स और रोना धोना ही खत्म नहीं होता तो फ्रेंड्स फिर दूर होने लगते हैं उनसे उनको लगता है जब भी मिलो वही बातें होती रहती हैं वही सब होता रहता है एंड ऑल दैट सो फिर फ्रेंड्स दूर होने लगते हैं बट वो बोलेंगे भी नहीं और अगर किसी ने आपको बोल दिया तो आप और ज्यादा हर्ट हो जाओगे उस चीज से तो यू हैव टू फर्स्ट कम आउट एंड इन टू अम्पैशनेट स्टेट टू एक्चुअली बी एबल टू लिसन टू दैट अगर किसी ने बोला तो आपको लगेगा कि हाँ मैं समझ रही हूँ अगर ऐसा मेरे साथ कोई करे तो मुझे भी ऐसा लगेगा तो यू हैव टू कम इन दैट कम्पैशनेट स्पेस टू टू बी एबल टू Hear those answers also to solve something. Okay, I got it. Thank you so much. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and first, you have to solve your state. Hi. Uh, can I comment something on into this in the same uh, way? Uh, there, there are many people whose hand is up. Uh, okay. okay. Is okay. it related? Okay. Uh, How about I'll come back to you? Um, okay, just, okay. Uh, let's let's go question. ahead. I was just commenting something. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go you, ahead. You can go ahead. It's nothing ahead. so important. No, finish finish your comment. No, that's okay. Go ahead. Then I'll okay. I'll move to the. I'll next. very quickly add. Uh, what I was supposed to say is that uh, maybe, kabi kabi, aisa ho sakta hai ki you know, uh, we think that we are very kind. Yeah, you know, kisi ka call aaya, they, they need some help, and we immediately help them. Like suppose if I'm having dinner. फिर भी मैं पिकअप कर कर लूंगा कि नो नो आई नीड टू हेल्प हिम और कुछ काम है और मे बी आई मीन माई ब्रेक तो हमें ऐसा लगता है कि आई एम वेरी काइंड आई एम वेरी नाइस और वो समबडी सेड दैट यू नो मे बी वी आर दैट काइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन बट वी मे नॉट बी दैट काइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन बट हमें डर लगता है कि काश मैंने उसको मना कर दिया तो वो बुरा मान जाएगा और फिर हमें वो गिल्ट होता है मैंने उसे क्यों मना किया क्यों मना किया बट आई हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आर सम पीपल जो जिन्हें इफ इफ ई से येस टू देम बट उन्हें हम हमने उसे टेन टाइम्स यस कहा रहेगा बट इट्स वेरी इजी फॉर देम टू से नो टू अस नो आई एम हैविंग दिन सो आई मीन आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग माय प्रैक्टिस और यू आई यूज्ड टू पिक अप कॉल्स यू नो वाला मैं दिन और समथिंग किसी को भी कुछ काम है बट मैंने ऑब्जर्व दैट यू नो दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज आवर टाइम देयर इज नो हमें कोई बुरा मानने की बात नहीं अगर कोई कोई बोल रहा है कि नो आई वोंट पिक अप योर कॉल्स एंड दिस इज जस्ट वन एग्जांपल बट एट टाइम्स वी फील वी आर काइंड बट वी आर सिंपली रिस्पोंडिंग टू देम आउट ऑफ दैट फियर जो हमें भी नहीं पता कि अगर मैंने मना कर दिया इफ आई हेल्प देन दे विल फील बैड मतलब शायद उन्हें खुश करने नहीं बिल्कुल व्हाट यू आर सेइंग 
हाँ हाँ वॉट यू आर सेंग इज एब्सोलूटली राइट एंड इसके लिए द एग्जाम्पल दैट आई टेक माइट साउंड वेरी हार्श एंड वेरी रूड एग्जाम्पल बट इट इज वेरी अप्रोप्रिएट एग्जाम्पल की जब हम अपने आप को डोरमेट की तरह बिछा देते हैं और लोग उसको डोरमेट की तरह यूज कर रहे हैं तो फिर तकलीफ किस बात की आप ही ने तो बिछाया है अपने आप को डोरमेट की तरह तो वाई आर यू कंप्लेनिंग की यू आर बींग यूज एज अ डोरमेट तो लोग तो करेंगे ना हम बिछेंगे तो लोग तो करेंगे ही ना डोरमेट की तरह यूज so the question yes. that needs to be asked is why i am doing this why i am i am uh, spreading myself as a doormat in front of people not the problem is not that they are using you as a doormat the problem is that you are being a doormat absolutely so what they think is so much of karma for allowing me to speak thank you so much great thanks thanks uh kavita your hand is up you want to say something? yeah good evening akal my name is tisha this side hi tisha yeah so means like today my question is uh, like you can say out of the topic you know but uh, like i wanted to ask you that uh, recently my exams were there so as uh, let tisha uh, just one if it's out of the topic then let's come back to it because there is more people their hand is up so let me go to them first and then i'll come to you sure okay okay, okay. okay. um we'll come to you let's let's just take the questions uh, uh, about the topic first uh, abhishek bajpay your hand is up you want to say something ha ah, yes sir एक्चुअली सर अभी मैंने मतलब बोला था कि बाउंड्रीज जो है ना वो लाइफ में सेट करना बहुत जरूरी होता है तो एक कोई बहुत बुजुर्ग थे वो सोशल वर्कर भी थे तो उनसे जब हमारी बातचीत हुई तो उन्होंने बोलो बहुत अच्छा नॉलेज दी थी कि जैसे कि आपका कोई मैरिज फंक्शन है ठीक है और आप कोई एक जॉब कर रहे हो पिछले बीस साल से तो आपके जॉब में जो वर्किंग कल्चर में जितने भी लोग मिलने वाले हैं उनसे आप रोज इंटरेक्ट करते हो ऑफिस के बाहर पान वाला रिक्शा वाला चाय वाला ऑटो वाला सबके मिलते हैं जो आपके जो क्लाइंट्स हैं क्लाइंट्स जितने भी उनसे आपका रेगुलर पाँच से दस साल से रेगुलर कनेक्टिविटी है वहाँ पे जितने भी इम्प्लॉय है उनसे सबसे आप मिलते हो फिर आप जिस मोहल्ले में रहते हो लोकल्टी में वहाँ भी सबसे मिलना जुलना है लेकिन क्या मैरिज फंक्शन में आप सबको बुला पाते हो नहीं बुलाते हो एक लिमिटेड क्राइटेरिया है लिमिटेड लोग हैं उन्हीं को बुलाते हैं दिस इज ऑल अबाउट बाउंड्रीज कि आपने एक जगह कैटेगराइज करके रखा है किस से किस लेवल तक का रिलेशनशिप आपको लॉन्ग टाइम मेंटेन करना है बस दैट्स इट आई वांट टू से गुड एग्जांपल लली योर हैंड इज I was just thinking loud. Um, normally, these assertive behaviors or boundaries are normally created during uh, not only family, also social interactions during teenage, especially or ch- childhood and teenage. So when sometimes when those exposures are absent for whatever reason, maybe due to overprotectiveness of the child, sometimes these are denied to the child. So it, as an adult, sometimes uh, they are not able to gauge the space and the time uh, in relations, relations and expectations. So their social intelligence. Uh, are not developed sometimes so i was also thinking ki in a working relationship uh, when you give a lot for example uh, uh, returning mails promptly replying to mails promptly uh, so your work uh, gets progress and uh, if you don't return that then your work gets hampered and then there are times when you are not you have your uh, uh, values doesn't allow you to say things in a proper in a in a certain manner hurtful manner because your uh, sensitivities do not allow it whereas the other person's sensitivities allow it so it is not that you don't see uh, with clarity but your sensitivities do not 
allow that and uh, so sometimes you bear the discomfort and then how do you then when you want to prevent it the next time of course habits get stuck so also then that learning behavior of okay next time how to prevent it and then you know give yourself more value so just random thoughts as we discussed it came to me akarma thank you so much thanks thanks valley thanks for that input very nice um who's next uh, rupali your hand is up i was just rupali. curious yes, to rupali. understand uh, about the boundary thing is it something new uh, that came into picture uh, in our generation or because when our mother or whoever like our elders our grandparents they never taught us about the boundaries and they used to say the opposite that you you should be following whatever we are saying and all that then you should be open and all of that so i just i am just that's, curious to understand is it that's that's the whole point we have that's the whole that that, that is why we we put the topic like that that it, is it selfish to have boundaries because that's what most people feel that it is selfish to do this mm -hmm. that's that's why we 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 named it like that ha huh? because that, like that generation new? that generation feels that way that generation feels that way that it is um huh? i mean people living uh, in in joint families and all that um it's 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 really you know hard for them to to set boundaries and when you are living in a big joint family so if you take um, previous generations um 100 200 300 year, 300 years back uh, to live uh, in a joint family under the same roof and and everyone putting setting their boundaries and all that it, it will be quite hard so so you you have to you have to adopt those values and um, Uh, and because we have gone through that phase where we have lived like that when we when i say we i mean as humans we have lived like that and we have seen ki nahi hai maza aata us tarah se rehne mein so now we are we are seeing the importance of of setting these things ओके सो जैसे रीपेरेंटिंग एक हम लोग अभी अभी सीख रहे हैं तो सेम थिंग वी आर वी आर जस्ट फाइंडिंग अ सॉल्यूशन टू द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आवर अर्लियर जनरेशन इज फेसिंग सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन टू लिव अ बेटर लाइफ ओके या 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 दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल लाइक जनरेशनल वूम्स दैट गेट्स पास्ड सो आवर मदर्स एंड फादर्स हैव लिव्ड इन इन दैट काइंड ऑफ एज that kind of era where these things were not there and now they don't understand ki ye sab kya baatein hain for them it doesn't make sense ki uh, people take divorce uh, today people take divorce for uh, for reasons jo aaj unko samajh ke hi bahar hain kyunki abhi bhi if someone is taking divorce to pehle ye rehta hai acha kiska affair chal raha hai iska ye chal raha hai inme kuch ye problem ho gayi ho आज भी ये चीज समझ नहीं आती है लोगों को कि टू पीपल कैन टेक डिवोर्स जस्ट बिकॉज दे जस्ट डोंट फील कंपैटिबल विद इच अदर कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं है नो बडी इज चीटिंग ऑन एनी वन नो बडी हैज एनी प्रॉब्लम और देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम इज जस्ट दैट दे जस्ट जस्ट टू डिफरेंट पीपल हु जस्ट रियलाइज दे आर टू डिफरेंट पीपल हु आर नॉट हैप्पी टुगेदर एंड दे वॉन्ट टू सेपरेट ये कॉन्सेप्ट ही नहीं एग्जिस्ट करते थे पहले people will go through huge domestic abuse physical abuse emotional abuse mental abuse still not leave marriage wo log ye cheez ye ye uh, perspective ko grasp hi nahi kar sakte hain ki someone wants to just uh, take divorce because dono mein compatibility nahi hai ye kya baat so just very different value system today as compared to them wo nahi samajh sakte okay it is even difficult for me also to understand so i can understand unko to kuch pata hi nahi hoga exactly exactly so so people people prefer is is ki bhai um it's better to 
to discontinue such kind of relationship and um, and and you know like find a different partner so kyun do logo ko um good good ke jeena hai just because they got married and all that aur fir ja ke individually affairs karna hai ya kuch bahar dhoondna hai and all that just because ki marriage ho gayi hai yehi karna hai wo karna hai to unhappy people cannot create a happy family life and cannot bring up happy kids also together so aaj logon ko agar ye baat samajh mein aati hai because unhone apne apne parents ko dekha hai ki humne dekha hai ki how uh, my mother used to be like this or how my father used to be like this and how they've seen all that and they don't want to repeat it so they are taking steps ki nahi karna hai humko but mother father ko nahi samajh mein aata unko lagta hai humne to 40 saal nikal di humne to 50 saal nikal di tum kyon nahi kar sakte wo nahi kar sakte nahi karna kyon kare So yeah. just to different value system, people people just are more aware, and they are more aware of their choices, and they feel that it will be it will be rather happy if two people, ha, huh, divorce hoga, separation hoga, thode din ka rona dona hoga, thoda bura lagega. But over time, everybody gets over, everybody moves on, and you know both of them will find better partners. Also, they will have when they look back, they will probably see ki acha hua. हमने वो डिसीजन पहले ले लिया बट बट अर्लियर जनरेशन बिकॉज ऑफ देयर ओन फियर एंड इन सिक्योरिटीज मेजोरिटी ऑफ द फियर एंड इन सिक्योरिटी इन अर्लियर जनरेशन केम फ्रॉम वीमेन बिकॉज दे वर नॉट फाइनेंशियली इंडिपेंडेंट वर नॉट एजुकेटेड उनको बाहर निकलने का था ही नहीं ऑप्शन दे कुड नॉट स्टैंड अप ऑन देर फीट दे कुड नॉट टेक दैट डिसीजन कहा जाएंगे So, आज हमने अपने उन उन्हीं उन्हीं पेरेंट्स ने अपने बच्चों को एजुकेट किया फाइनेंशियली इंडिपेंडेंट बनाया दे वांट देम टू बी दिस दैट बट दे वांट देम टू स्टिल फॉलो द सेम वैल्यू सिस्टम दिस इज जस्ट एब्सर्ड एंड टोटली फक्त थिंकिंग कि हम चाहते हैं कि वो ये सब तो करें लेकिन बैक टू रूट सोचे वैसे ही जैसे पांच साल पहले हम लोग सोचते थे अभी भी हम वैसे ही सोचे वैसे ही रहे वही ट्रेडिशन फॉलो करें बट हमको मॉडर्न सारा कुछ भी चाहिए दिस इज जस्ट एब्सर्ड कंडस्टर्ब ओके हुस नेक्स्ट अश्विनी यू आर नेक्स्ट maybe just log out log that in that now can you hear me the next question now can you hear me yes 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 hello yes, can you yes, hear me okay yeah, go ahead uh did you hear my comment i said i said that uh, it was wonderful what you said just now that people can separate simply because uh, they are not happy together and, and and that there's nothing in fact not uh, visualizing that or understanding that is absurd and i felt really very very good after that <laughs> because i struggle with those issues all the time um what i wanted to what i raised my hand was for uh, a, a comment like one of my teachers used to say um that uh, you do something for someone else and that person says thank you that is the time you should say i'm sure you'll do the same for me should i need it you know so you are clear whether you have said it you have raised your expectation that yeah you expect to receive when needed and if that person then doesn't do it at least you know that you have made your expectation clear and that person is not willing to do so um feeling hurt after that is your choice um but yeah you make your expectation clear that if you say that i i am not expecting anything in return that is fine too but you can always say uh, that i i'm sure you will do the same thing for me when i need it 
that's all i wanted to say for all those people who say this is something i learned when i was in another culture and doing my graduate studies in the us uh, that people don't have uh, any such uh, unspoken expectations or um, sort of you know they make it clear that i'm sure you'll do uh, the, the same thing for me should i uh, be wanting it sometime and a help comes usually it comes from other places it doesn't have to come from this is my personal experience it doesn't have to come from the place where you have given it just comes uh, it just the, it goes around in the world you know yeah thank you yeah yeah i i agree ashwini i mean i i still remember a time where you know i would help someone and somebody would uh, say that oh you help me this and that and everything I'll, and i'll be like nahi nahi koi baat nahi ye wo and everything and of course uh, at times uh, you know uh, th- there are relationships where it's just like i'm like i don't say anything i'm like okay, okay fine but there are times when there are expectations and i'm like very pyar se i say koi baat nahi is baar maine kiya agli baar tu kar dena koi problem nahi hai main le lungi help so yeah yeah that's that was uh, you know something i could i could relate to that uh, learning that you were sharing yeah so who's next uh, summer is next hello yes sir yes hi so uh, in the previous couple of discussions i got like a couple of points to add to what uh, was discussed so first someone asked a question that is this uh, mode of setting boundaries something new that we have just uh, started doing and which was not prevalent in the previous generations i would just uh, seek permission to add something to it i in my respectful submission believe that this is nothing new the only difference that has uh, taken place with the course of time is understanding of the situation of the other person for instance if i may there was a generation prior to us a few generations prior to us where we live in a patriarchal society and everyone is clearly aware of how women had to set boundaries and the family members and the men were all free to live their lives so at that point of time also boundaries were there and the boundaries were there on behalf of both the genders or rather both the partners in so far as women were concerned they had to set their bound uh, set boundaries to their own selves and boundaries towards the third people and they had to give unconditional love unconditional faith and unconditional support to their in-laws or rather their partners that was the boundary set by women at that point of time to their own self it was secondly the men what they used to do was have no boundaries if i may put it in a particular manner it's a subjective issue altogether and the little boundaries that there were the little boundaries that there were was with respect to third persons now with the passage of time it's not that a, uh, it's not that uh, we have just learned to set our boundaries it's just that we have recognized the value of humans in general irrelevant of their genders so women at these point of times have to set boundaries not just to their own selves but for their partners as well which is very important and the men in any relationship have to also acknowledge the fact that you don't only have to set boundaries for the other person you have to set boundaries for your own self as well and this is not with respect to third people uh, third persons there shouldn't be no boundaries with respect to third persons take care the boundary should be uh, with respect to each other the way you treat each other the way you mistreat each other the boundaries should be there and that's one for uh, the other person and for your own self that you should not uh, do this or that in a particular manner so i don't think that this is a new concept altogether the concept already uh, was there but the previous generations had a very patriarchal society which tend to have the boundaries in a different manner because of the mindset of the people with the passage of time education has taken a sweep i won't say just just among um, uh, a particular gender but in entirety where you acknowledge the value of a human in general irrespective of their gender and th- which is where equality comes into the picture and value of the uh, 
other person comes into the picture and the boundaries are set accordingly so that is what has transpired with the passage of time i would say right okay. thank you thank you so much uh, for sharing that with us summer yeah uh, who's next now uh, kavita uh, okay i guess it's tisha uh, trisha you want to say something um, yeah it's not an insight or anything it's share something which i find very funny and sweet at the same time so there's this youtube couple that i follow um, the girls vietnamese the guys german and um someone akarma was talking about like joint families and all that right so wahan se mujhe yaad aaya they live together but differently because she's vietnamese so she is you know used to eating hot food and din mein teen bar khana and he's german so he only eats bread and cheese they don't share food and if it was a joint family or you know like how indian culture is then it's like oh if you're married you have to eat the same food you have to go to the same places you have to have the same likes and dislikes all of that right but i look at them and i find that so sweet it's it's again it's it's having a boundary even though it's a very like simple thing but it's 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 having that boundary and understanding na ki my food is mine my likes and dislikes are mine you are your person just because we are together doesn't mean that you know we have to become so enmeshed together that we do not know where i start and where you end so i i i remember that uh, couple when akarma was talking about joint families and i just wanted to share that that boundaries can be very simple and very small but uh, everything that affirms who you are and what your true self is um it's important to have that in a relationship any relationship that's absolutely it. absolutely yeah yeah and and you know sometimes uh, th- these are just you know small small things like you shared like i i have seen it i i was married in a gujju family but it was so uh, weird for me to see that i was asked to change my food preference yeah, yeah i mean god come on i mean it's food i mean at least that much could be uh, something which you know a person is allowed to eat and it's not mm-hmm. that i'm coming from my culture and i'm like you know apni main to apni culture ka hi khana nahi khati hu i i eat i eat something entirely different it has nothing to do with my culture or your culture but food ko bhi you know making it about culture and if you are this then you should eat like this. oh god <laughs> yeah and if you don't eat my food then you don't care about me or you exactly. know you are you being a bad wife or a bad partner yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Trisha. Okay, uh, Ishita. Uh, yes, I have a question for Akar Akarma. Uh, he told about uh, joint families, but my question is: uh, Is it really possible to set boundaries in joint families? It, I know you mentioned it is hard, but it is really possible because given the generation, uh, like the parents we are dealing with. my dad keeps giving me examples on mm. no i uh, was i was on how they adjusted only. and yeah no but i was saying this only it's not it's hard to do that yeah yeah example to me bol raha hai ki it is hard yeah. to do that and uh, and and this is They why uh, that's what i was saying um am i not audible yes i can hear you am i not audible yes sir karma you are audible you are audible yes, karma sorry okay Okay. Okay. So somebody said I lost you. So yeah. Okay. So I'm say I uh, so Ishita. That is what I was saying. That um, it was not possible. That's the phase we have gone through. We have lived as humans, as a society. We have lived that phase. That is why it is becoming more prominent now that people are finding that ये करने की जरूरत है क्योंकि वो हम जी चुके हैं वो phase जिसमें वो हम नहीं कर पाए उस उधर and we have we have seen ki waise nahi jeena hai right and uh, you are labeled as selfish if you establish your boundary of course of course yeah. you will be of course you will be labeled as selfish kyunki kyunki that is 
that is what that is what is ingrained in that uh, generation or generations before ki dusron ke liye karna hai dusron ke liye jeena hai dusron ki needs aur wo sab jo hain wo pehle aani chahiye and all that so you your your thing should come last and all that ye ye training hui hai especially for women the women have been trained um, to think like that ki they have to uh, they have to do that so they 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 have to सो आज भी आज भी होता है आज भी बहुत सारे घरों में ऐसा होता है कि विमेन ईट फूड लेटर सो ऑल द फैमिली मेंबर्स एवरीबॉडी ईट्स फूड फर्स्ट विमेन ईट फूड लेटर सो टुडे आल्सो दे डोंट सिट एट द सेम टेबल एंड ईट दे विल ईट लेटर अगर कुछ बचा है तो ठीक है नहीं तो वट एवर दे ईट लेटर दैट इज द दैट इज द ट्रेनिंग दैट हैज बीन डन सो जिसकी वो ट्रेनिंग हो चुकी है वो वो इंसान एक दिन उठ के अगर ये बोले कि नहीं आज मुझे पहले खाने का मन है तो ऑब्वियसली सब लोग तो चढ़ जाएंगे ना उसके ऊपर कि हाउ सेल्फिश यू आर वो तो उसने पूरा सिस्टम ही हिला दिया ना इतने yes. इतने इत, इत, इतनी सदियों की हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इयर्स की ट्रेनिंग कोई उठ के बोले कि मैं पहले खाना खाऊंगी तो तो पूरा सिस्टम ही हिल गया ना तो तो क्या उस, उसको रोकने के लिए क्या टूल है आप आपको अगर किसी को रोकना होगा तो आप क्या बताओ क्या क्या टूल यूज करें नहीं रोक सकते यू विल शेम नहीं अगर आपको करना हो तो आप क्या करोगे यू विल ब्लेम देम यू विल शेम देम यही करोगे ना right, right. किसी को रोकने yeah. के लिए हाँ तो दैट इज वॉट सो सो ब्लेम और शेम करने के लिए बेस्ट क्या है सेल्फिश हो ये हो वो हो ये सब बोलोगे उनको ब्लेम करोगे yes. शेम करोगे तो वो रुकेंगे ना yes. तो तो ऐसा अगर हमेशा होता रहे तो द ओनली वे आउट इज टू सेपरेट राइट नॉट नेसेसरीली डिपेंड करता है अगर फैमिली मेच्योर है और यू नो लाइक बात हो सकती है बात की जा सकती है तो तो कर सकते हैं इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज एट ओनली ठीक है कई बार क्या होता है कि लोग मेच्योर होते हैं समझ सकते हैं कर सकते हैं चेंज बट कभी सोचा ही नहीं था बस चल रहा था जैसे ट्रेडिशन चल रहे चला रहे चल रहा है तो किसी ने कभी कोई क्वेश्चन ही नहीं किया तो ऐसा नहीं है कि अगर उनसे बात करो तो उनको समझ नहीं आएगा या वो वो समझेंगे नहीं या वो कुछ करेंगे नहीं बट कभी किसी ने ये क्वेश्चन उठाया ही नहीं कभी कभी ये पॉइंट उठाया ही नहीं तो किसी ने ध्यान ही नहीं दिया इस तरफ तो कुछ हुआ ही नहीं जैसा चल रहा है वैसा चल रहा है मतलब जो सिक्सटी प्लस है सेवेंटी प्लस है इतने सालों से जो करते आ रहे हैं इतनी हाँ। बार कोशिश की मैंने समझाने की बट वो कभी वो बदलने की कोशिश नहीं कर रहे तो तभी हाँ। अपना इफ यू वांट टू लिव रेस्पेक्टफुली देन सो दिस इज द रीजन व्हाई सो मेनी न्यू दिस इज द रीजन व्हाई सो मेनी न्यूक्लियर फैमिलीज आर कमिंग बट बिकॉज दैट इज व्हाट अल्टीमेटली फिर फिर वही बचता है फिर कोई ऑप्शन बचता नहीं है ना तो ऑप्शन बचता नहीं तो पर अगर आपके पास वो ऑप्शन अगर... नहीं हो मूव करने का और रहना भी हो उसी घर में और अपना सैनिटी भी मेंटेन करना हो तो कैसे कर सकते हैं आई एम डीलिंग विद एवरी डे सो आई आई पोस्टेड अ मैसेज ऑन दिस टुडे इन द ग्रुप सो यू ज्वाइन द ग्रुप टुडे Yes, yes. Uh, okay. I posted a message on this one yesterday or day before. I'll repost that message in the group. Okay. Just, yeah. Uh, too much to to explain that. I'll just post. Sure, sure. Message. Yes. Sure. Thank you. I'm glad I joined the group. Uh, Samad, you want to say something? Yeah. May I be permitted to speak on this particular topic? Yes. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, sir. Yes. Hi. Uh, so, what I hear from Ishita is something which um, I've actually witnessed a lot many times. Uh, so, I'm an I'm an advocate by profession, and I have come across cases wherein such issues have cropped up and they have escalated as well. But then, the question that remains is: Is it correct or not? Now. we all know what necessary evil is right the 
issue at hand which we have over here is whether having boundaries being non negotiable is selfish or not as a matter of fact it's not so if i may answer ishita it would be that she needs to set the boundaries it's difficult for people who are 65 70 ish to understand what mindset we are coming from but it, but then other resolution if i may suggest would be to set in small boundaries which they can soak in at first now if i go with uh setting huge boundaries at first then it will come up with a lot of resistance so the solution will always be to set in smaller step of boundaries to begin with which they can easily understand at first and they can get themselves uh sorry they can rather accept the same because of the fact that these are not huge things right it has to start with small steps but then at the end of the day boundaries have to be set it is irrelevant whether person lives in a uh, uh, decides to shift in a nuclear setup or not such problems will always come up not merely on a daily basis occasionally honge but they will be uh, coming up so at the end of the day moving out is not a solution for everyone there are families which take moving out as a huge step theek hai which have dire consequences as well uh, in a lot of places theek hai where the elders are very uh, let's say prejudiced about the mindset so what you need to do is you need to set in small boundaries at first you need to let the other person know what is actually not fine and those must not be huge steps and then you you can gradually move and the solution that if you say that you're going through the same thing every day and it's very it's getting difficult for you to maintain your sanity while living in such an environment then what you need to do is you need to start keeping yourself busy as well see the more time we give to a particular uh, to a difficult situation okay the more we think about it and the more difficult the situation in our own head becomes so the the moment you start ki, uh, keep uh, sorry the moment you start keeping yourself busy is the moment that you give less time to the difficulties over there at the same time you set in small boundaries at first boundaries should not be huge theek okay, hai for the other person to just react uh, in a very uh let's say restrictive manner that okay this is not possible at all chote chote boundaries up lao just let the other person let the family members know that you have a broader mindset and kuch restrictions ko lower down karna zaruri hai with the passage of time theek hai that acceptance ki uh, ability will seek in and then you can move to the bigger ones and at the same time if you are having difficulty like this is affecting you emotionally this is affecting your uh, mental stability and it's getting difficult for you to survive in such a place then you start working long hours then you start keeping your uh, start getting uh, keeping yourself busy that is the solution to it accepting what is happening is the worst thing that can ever happen for instance like let's take our grandmothers or mothers for that uh, for that matter most of our grandmothers were not educated they never had the option of going out changing things about the families they were not even financially in, uh, independent they are so financial independence comes with a lot of things right so independence wahan nahi thi they were not as busy as they were ghar mein pure time rehte the and jaise pratha chal rahi thi waise sath ko sab kuch chalta tha now from that time we have come to this time theek hai what has primarily changed is why did we get education we got education they made us get education just to make sure that we are not living the same life as they were even if education is left aside for a second we got the mental freedom we understood our own values agar wo understand karne ke baad we we are unable to take a step towards it then it makes no sense hum 1960s mein bhi waise hi reh rahe the abhi bhi waise hi reh rahe hain because we have to bow down to the uh, to the what customs of the family and the uh, uh, the way of living of the family adhere to whatever is said by the elders something of the sort right so we need to change it but then we uh, we also need to understand this fact that radical shift achanak se nahi aayega 
start with small aspects start with such things that can be accepted usme resistance aayegi but at the end of the day wo dheere dheere accept hogi choti choti cheeze theek hai with the passage of time jaise acceptance ki ability samne wale ke andar aa jaye family members ke andar aa jaye then you can prob- probably gradually shift because to take a call of staying in a nuclear setup theek hai is going to have consequences because usse thode uh grandparents ya yeah, fir family members relatives in a joint family are very rigid to a large extent so such steps might have consequences it's better to talk it out choti cheeze aap samne rakho and at the same time keep yourself as busy as you can because then you will have lesser time to pay attention to it and that will ensure ki aapka mental state bhi better hai and choti choti cheeze hi but change ho rahi hai and with the passage of time you can move to the bigger things ठीक है दिस दिस इज अ वेरी सब्जेक्टिव टॉपिक अनलेस अंटिल यू नो व्हाट इज एक्चुअली रॉन्ग ठीक है यू डोंट हैव अ पर्टिकुलर सॉल्यूशन टू इट बट देन द अप्रोच इन माय रिस्पेक्टफुल सबमिशन एंड सजेशन शुड बी इन सच अ मैनर दैट्स दैट्स ऑल आई हैड टू ऐड थैंक यू समर फॉर योर इनपुट्स लेट्स नाउ इट्स ऑलरेडी कविता इज टीशा देव शी वॉन्ट्स टू टॉक त्रिशा मैसेज शी इज गोइंग फॉर डिनर नो नॉट त्रिशा इट्स टीशा दैट्स कविता सॉरी Uh, Margaret, I saw your hand was up as well. So, was there anything you wanted to say? Yes. Uh, hello. Uh, good evening. Uh, actually, when um, one of uh, the callers, uh, Rupali, ma'am, mentioned that uh, boundaries and की बारे में ना, so I didn't know earlier how to have a boundary. and whether or not i can have a boundary you know this is like uh, very matlab bahut abhi recent me i have learned like it took me like almost half my age to understand that i can sorry about of the commotion here i just have small kids speech na to matlab to have a boundary i never knew that i also have a right to have a boundary in real you know so even today when uh, i ask somebody when they ask me something i'll do it with all my heart and out of the way earlier matlab back to last year i would do it acha uh, i will do it with all my heart and matlab dil se help karungi main but when i would ask for help i would not get the same in return okay so i would feel very very bad about that aspect ki why why is this thing happening okay and then then i learned that uh, you know when even people who are younger to you and who, people who are really old to you are doing this like they are having a boundary for example if if at all they ask for some help and i would do it and when i would expect them you know i would feel obliged to do it more so but they would not they would just give me some excuse and maybe just put it under the rug and and that i still feel bad about having a boundary so i've just begun having a boundary like last year if if there is something that i didn't want to do or i didn't feel right or if i felt the other person is selfish so i would i would be like you know kar de maggi kar de and then 
वो आ जाता है कि यू नो वट नहीं करती मैं बिकॉज इवन मैं कर भी दूंगी वो काम को ना उसके बाद बहुत खुद ही को अभी कीप ऑन से जरूरत क्या थी बिकॉज आई फील दर्सन इज रियली वेरी थैंकलेस टू टेक दैट हेल्प और टेक अप बोरो थिंग और समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड इफ यू रिजेंबल फॉर टाइम ट्राइंग टू से मतलब हेलो आर यू देर हेलो तो सो इवन टूडे यंगर टू मी पीपल रिश्ते से भी एंड उमर से भी इफ देर इज समथिंग दैट दे वुड आस्क मी टू डू एंड आई फील अप वन परसेंट और टेन परसेंट ऑफ नॉट डूइंग इट एंड आई वोट डू इट आई विल स्टिल हिट माई सेल्फ अराउंड दैट थिंग यू नो लाइक आई कीप हिटिंग माई सेल्फ मतलब नॉट लिटरली बट इन साइड माई हेड के आर क्या है कर देते या अच्छा कर देते या ओवर कर देते बिकॉज मैं फीलिंग ऑफ गिल्ट यू फील गिल्टी नॉट डूइंग दैट यस ऑफ नॉट डूइंग आई कुड हैव डन मतलब आई फील इफ समवन हैज आस्क मी समथिंग और इफ आई हैड टू मेक समबडी फील स्पेशल और समथिंग लाइक दैट दे डिडंट डू इट फॉर मी सो मेनी इयर्स एंड व्हाई डू आई हैव टू डू इट एंड देन इफ आई डोंट डू इट then also I feel guilt and if I do it then also I feel guilt क्या किया सामने वाले ने तो appreciate ही नहीं किया so both ways तो इसका आप बताओ मैं क्या करूँ हाँ same uh, answer to you also कि you have started the process so just complete the process that you have currently started um, you have to come out of this state so you can actually apply a better solution to this problem so so continue what you are doing to complete the process when you said ke unstuck yourself ka uh, hmm. humne shuruaat ki hai so uh, what do you mean by that matlab mai ko nahi samajh aaya when you said uh, who did i did the workshop so what what abhi ki hai na there is the other uh, so we we so we talked about uh, the so you did unstuck yes i did unstuck where you identified your insecure attachment style yes yes hmm? which came out what anxious preoccupied right? yes 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 because hmm. i i don't really remember ki kya tha but uh, considering what you are saying and all that i can say yes yes you know. Yes. So, so now we have to look into कि ये कहाँ से आ रहा है. So, um, we talked about the next workshop that we are doing, the guided subconscious probing. Um, I'm not sure if you have, uh, you are going to attend it or not. But ये पूरा process complete करके ही तो इस चीज़ से बाहर निकल पाओगे ना. हम्म हम्म हम्म. So you are asking for solution. So this is the solution. हम्म हम्म हम्म. Okay. Thank you. so you can either uh, do follow the process that we have laid out or you can create your own process doesn't matter but wo 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 hi solution mm-hmm, sir mujhe to iske bare mein koi knowledge nahi hai i find whatever that i did in the workshop was very helping to me i could relate to uh, whatever you asked me to do to i could go forward with that and whatever is the next step i will continue to do till that i uh, you know reach the final stage where where only the coach that is you and anamika ma'am they will say ke how when obviously i will uh, call and have a word with you ke iske aage kaise karna hai because this is all jargons all that this is all google Haan. thing wait wait that is what i don't know ki you were there when i was explaining this to ishita before ki <laughs> Uh, these things are not something that you can do DIY. ये खुद से करने वाला है ही नहीं. नहीं. You have to do it in guidance. Either mm-hmm. you take our guidance or you take somebody else's guidance. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Mm-hmm. But guidance के बिना ये काम नहीं हो सकता जो. Sir, do it uh, um, yourself वाला भी अगर किसी ने किया होगा, I don't think उसे वो result आया भी होगा. वो नहीं होता. नहीं आ सकता. आ ही नहीं सकता है. यही मैं explain कर रहा था इशिता को भी. वो possible ही नहीं है. i hmm. and i am i'm talking from a professional point of view i been hmm. doing this for 20 plus years mai to khud hi bol raha hu nlp techniques jo hum karte hain 
आई हैव बिन डूइंग इट फॉर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स वो मैं खुद के ऊपर नहीं कर सकता हूँ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो आई एम आई एम डूइंग दिस फॉर ऑल दीज इयर्स बट स्टिल वेन आई गेट स्टक इन समथिंग लाइक दिस I mm-hmm. have to take help from somebody else. It is the mm-hmm. way it is. Hmm. Hmm. Just, just like. मैं बहुत अच्छा मैं बहुत अच्छा heart surgeon होऊंगा लेकिन अपना heart खुद खोल के थोड़ी हाँ, bypass करूँगा. Yeah, I heard that, sir. I heard. मतलब हाँ. मेरे दिल मेरे दिमाग में भी यही एक example आया that if you are under a inside a water, you need somebody else to pull you out. You cannot come. Exactly. Out. You cannot come. Ha. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. So maybe you can float maybe you can just stay there but wo bahar aane ke liye you need somebody a hand out you need somebody's help mm-hmm. exactly sab kisi ko to bahar khada hona hoga jo aapko bahar khinchega koi agar aapke sath andar hi daldal mein bhi hai to wo aapki kaise help kar paye true so this is the problem that you know many a times we are stuck in these relationship problems and all that and we are seeking help from people jo apna khud hi in cheezon se lad unhone apne khud ka hi abhi tak solve nahi kiya Hmm. वो खुद ही इन पचड़ों में फंसे हुए हैं एंड दैट कुड बी अवर पेरेंट्स दैट कुड बी अवर सिबलिंग्स दैट कुड बी अवर फ्रेंड्स कुड बी एनीवन सो इंटेंशन इज नॉट क्वेश्चनेबल हियर दे मे हैव वेरी गुड इंटेंशंस बट दे डोंट हैव द स्किल्स टू डू इट सो सर एक क्वेश्चन है सर वर्कशॉप वर्कशॉप कब है संडे को Okay. Uh, so you you uh, you join huh, you join the group group no? just uh, say hello in that group, uh, or introduce yourself so that because phone number से पता नहीं चलता है who, who you who, which of that is you so then okay. I will give you the that I I also said that I'll post that message in the group also so you if you just say hello in the group then I will know and then I'll tag you in that message sure thank you so much <laughs> no problem. um mansi your hand is up you want to say something okay uh, i i could relate a lot with mansi i i I've, i've heard i've in fact i've done i've done the unstuck yourself i've done the uh, some i've done some i'm created to do the healing mind blocks but i still all this keep feeling like I, i know i know what i want i know i like in fact probably i've gone a step I've taken at least a step which I feel good about, but more guilt. Like I have walked out of that house where I was not valued because finally I asked for what I want. It wasn't tangible things; it was intangible things like respect. If I'm providing for a family of seven, the least I could get in return, and now that I'm a mother, was basic respect. Uh, the feeling of being a part of the family, right? Because for seven years, what I always i was always treading on like eggshells because i was always made to feel that i'm the outsider so i have to prove myself worthy enough to be a part of this inner circle and i did take the step to step out and it's been 7 months and i i realized now that was so stupid because now also there's no value i'm still there's always ke ek baar ho jati acha theek hai we'll move out separately hum but i don't see any action towards it and there's more hurt so Uh, fortunately for me everything else is in a good place like my work is great i have amazing friends yes i i thought that everything was perfect my parents but now i realize where my aggression or my response to things comes from their own mindset they have good intention my parents have the best intentions but that but doesn't mean i have to follow it so i'm i'm sometimes i listen to them so they like me a chance de do a grow step le and then again that hope is created ki theek hai sab fix ho jaye and then there's of course then you're let down and there's that constant guilt ki tumne chance kyun di sir chance de dete hum i'm not being able to make convince myself with consistency ki i should go forward with it i know i'm doing the exercise also right i've identified what the mother and father wounds are where everything is but i'm just i mean very like
Yeah, yeah, no, you are totally making sense. And um, and um, and as we talked about that, see the the whole healing process takes place in steps, and um, right. and you have completed two steps so far yes. in terms of yes. Uh, yes. doing the diagnosis part, right? And you are yes. coming to the healing mind blocks on Saturday. Yes. yes. Huh. So now that is the that is the treatment. So that is going to be the the workshop for you. क्योंकि वहां तक आने के लिए ये दो स्टेप्स की प्रेपरेशन जरूरी थी सो अभी तक हमने सो मच ऐसा कुछ सॉल्व नहीं किया है बिकॉज इट इज मोर अबाउट ब्रिंगिंग अवेयरनेस की सॉल्व करना क्या है तो वो अब जो हम सैटरडे को फुल डे वर्कशॉप करने वाले हैं वो करने के बाद फिर मुझे बताना है उसके बाद that is where we wanted to bring to to bring you by doing all those um the the other two steps that we did was a preparation i know last this. maybe when a last workshop also I, i told that it's this whole realization is very unsettling and aapne kaha tha ki you have to live with the you have to accept this uncertainty ha it's the series of other events externally wo usko aur unsettle kar raha hai so it's just ke it's not the i want to solve it it's and that unsettling is just coming out in ways ah, i ah. have guilt about also <laughs> so bilkul 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 hoga hi there is see wo kaise hota hai na ki ki jaise aise hota hai na ki aise kuch wo ek pas bhar jati hai usko usko nikalne nikalna to padega hi wo aaye upar to aayega hi we have opened the wounds so wo aayega hi upar wo aur wo upar aane ki zarurat hai kyunki wo upar aayega to जैसे होता है ना दूध को आप उबालते हो तो मलाई ऊपर आती है तो फिर आप उसको निकाल सकते हो जब तक वो ऊपर नहीं आएगा तब तक आप देखोगे कैसे और सॉल्व कैसे करोगे तो ये जो डिस्कम्फर्ट आ रहा है ये इसीलिए आ रहा है क्योंकि अभी तक ये सारी चीजें ना सबकॉन्शियस में छुपी बैठी थी जो हम हमारे कॉन्शियस में आती है लेकिन जैसे ही हम इन चीजों को देख लेते हैं जैसे ये चीजें आ जाती है तो अब हम ना रह नहीं पाते हैं उसके साथ अब अब हमें समझ में आ गया कि ये ये अब ऐसा नहीं चल सकता और वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेज है किसी भी चेंज के लिए ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेज है कि यू नीड टू बिकम अनकंफर्टेबल विद दैट प्रॉब्लम यू बिकम सो अनकंफर्टेबल कि मुझे अब नहीं रखना है इसको अभी इतने सालों से पाल के रखा हुआ था क्योंकि हमें पता ही नहीं था हमें पाल के क्या रखा हुआ है हमें दिख ही नहीं रहा था वो पल रहा था वो जैसे कि कोई मान लो कि आपके स्टमक में कोई पैरासाइट है जो है जो आपको तकलीफ नहीं दे रहा है कभी कभी कुछ होता है कभी कभी कुछ प्रॉब्लम होती है लेकिन वो है लेकिन एक बार पता चल जाता है कि ये पैरासाइट है और मुझको नहीं रखना है इसको तो दैट इज द स्टेज इट इज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेज दिस 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 डिस्कम्फर्ट स्टेज इज इज वॉट आई नीड फॉर सैटरडे इट्स नॉट एन इजी सो हाँ सो इसके ऊपर भी आई विल जस्ट क्विकली से समथिंग इट्स बीन लॉन्ग कि ये जो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल वर्कशॉप हमने क्रिएट की हैं इट्स नॉट इजी आई 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 एक्नोलेज दैट दे आर नॉट इजी क्योंकि ये कुछ इंफॉर्मेशनल नहीं है दिस इज नॉट एजुकेशनल इसमें हम कुछ ऐसा ध्यान नहीं दे रहे हैं इसमें काम करना पड़ता है वो चीजें देखनी पड़ती हैं जो हमने कभी देखी नहीं चाहिए किसी ने दिखाई वो अनसेटलिंग होगी बट इसको ऐसा समझ के चलो कि दिस दिस डिस्कम्फर्ट इज गोइंग टू बी देयर फॉर अ फाइनाइट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आपने जब भी किया था सो व्हेन डिड यू डू अनस्टक मानसी महीने के ऊपर चलो ए, एक महीना से ऊपर मान लेते डेढ़ महीना हो गया मान लेते तो अभी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड को ये होगा सो so, वो होते होते एक डेढ़ महीना आपका चला गया सो इट्स स्टिल फाइनाइट कि आपको वो डिस्कम्फर्ट का पीरियड एक डेढ़ महीने का था दो महीने का मान लेते दो महीने का वो डिस्कम्फर्ट का पीरियड था लेकिन उसके बाद सेटलमेंट uh, आने लगती है बट अगर हम इस चीज को नहीं देखते तो वो लाइफ लॉन्ग की डिस्कम्फर्ट है वो क्या है वो स्मॉल डोसेज में वो डिस्कम्फर्ट रहेगी ये ये बहुत बड़ी डोसेज में डिस्कम्फर्ट है 
बट ये बड़ी डोसेज में डिस्कम्फर्ट थोड़े टाइम की है जो निकल जाएगी सैटरडे के बाद लेकिन हम उसको नहीं देखते उसके साथ जीते रहते हैं वो एक कंफर्ट जोन बन जाता है पर वो लाइफ लॉन्ग रहता है वो वो लाइफ लॉन्ग की स्ट्रगल है ये थोड़े टाइम की ज्यादा स्ट्रगल है वो ज्यादा टाइम की थोड़ी स्ट्रगल है ऐसा दीज दीज वर्कशॉप आर आर अनसेटलिंग मैनी ऑफ मैनी पीपल इन दिस कॉल इट सेल्फ है and i know that i know humne create kiya i know we we ourselves have gone through this process ye aisa nahi hai we we know what it is and we know how unsettling it is and all that uh, but but it's okay but we it's, it's fine it's like ki wo surgery karenge wo cut lagega dard hoga hame pata hai dard hoga par par wo wo thoda to bardash karna padega and, and wo zaruri hai i'm, I'm not doubtful of the results नहीं मैं डाउटफुल बिकॉज आई थिंक मेरा सीक्वेंस ऑफ द वर्कशॉप्स वाज वेरी डिफरेंट मतलब आई स्टार्टेड विद द मनी एनर्जी वन उसके बाद मैंने अनस्टक किया इनफैक्ट आफ्टर मनी एनर्जी मैं अनस्टक कर नहीं पाई बिकॉज आई वाज सो अनवेल आफ्टर दैट फिर एक हफ्ते बाद मैंने अनस्टक किया सो आई एंड आई आई एम रियलाइज्ड कि आफ्टर दैट वर्कशॉप द मनी एनर्जी स्पेशली माय अप्रोच टू स्मॉल एंड बिग थिंग्स इज वेरी डिफरेंट व्हिच इज व्हाई आई वांटेड टू डू मोर बट नाउ आई एम जस्ट वेरी वेरी अनकंफर्टेबल इन my own body lack of anything matlab i i know up i just want to bring it up theek hai theek hai no problems i i acknowledge that i understand ab aaj wednesday to khatam ho gaya hai do din aur hai haan ji so theek hai theek hai saturday ko to hum karenge so do din ki aur discomfort hai theek hai theek hai thank you cool thanks thanks ma'am